Here we go, family. What we have here is a case of racism, white supremacy at its finest, and it shows you the racialized double standards that exist within inside the justice system between white people and black people. You know, and for any black person to be running around right now in 2024 talking some racism, white supremacy don't exist, something wrong with you. Something ain't right upstairs. So I got the audio and the video of these racialized double standards that exist within inside the justice system, and we're going to walk through and talk about it how we normally do. Fair use. This morning, we are following the developing story of Texas death row inmate Robert Roberson. Just before 10 o'clock last night, the Texas Supreme Court delayed Roberson's execution. He was convicted in the death of his two-year-old daughter more than 20 years ago. Since then, supporters say new information proves he is innocent and his autism spectrum disorder explains his lack of emotion the day his daughter died. Okay, so you all haunt this Robert Roberson's execution all because uh, new evidence was produced that, you know, he couldn't have done it. And um, and our brother Marcellus Williams case, they had evidence for years that showed that he wasn't guilty of stabbing that white news reporter out there in Missouri. And y'all went right on ahead and executed our brother Marcellus Williams. And this was done because Marcellus Williams didn't have the complexion for the protection like this Robert Roberson. Uh, Marcellus Williams was a black man. Because I could bet my last damn dollar if Marcellus Williams was a white man, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have went right on ahead and executed him. They would have took more time to do their jobs and look into what was actually taking place because no DNA evidence was ever shown. Nothing ever linked our brother to the crime. And they went right on ahead and unjustly executed our brother because he was a black man. And that's why it was done, if you ask me, because this Robert Roberson got the complexion for the protection. Because you could take the lowest of low white person living in a trailer park. A trailer park trash white person um, that ain't got two dimes to rub together. They might be broke as a joke, but that white trailer park trash white person got a billion dollars worth of whiteness that they could cash in anytime they need to. But let's continue. His lack of emotion the day his daughter died. Larry Collins is in the newsroom now. And they said, I don't know if y'all caught that too, family, that he has some kind of mental health issue, autism spectrum disorder, you know, which showed his lack of compassion the day his daughter died in the courtroom. And you notice how they always like to attach some kind of stigma of a mental health issue to a white person, but let it be a black person sitting in that courtroom. They want to say he was a bad seed from birth, and I don't respect this, you know, looking out for whiteness on the expense of condemning blackness. But let's continue. I'll stand on top of this story, Larry. Good morning. Yeah, you know, this week has really seen a tornado of hearings, appeals, and pleas involving even the state and U.S. Supreme Courts. Robert Robertson was said to be executed yesterday, but late last night, the Texas Supreme Court announced it would temporarily pause the execution. Even this morning, though, it's still unclear exactly what the next steps will be. Robertson was subpoenaed to appear before state lawmakers next Monday. It appeared to be a legal Hail Mary by lawmakers scheduling that hearing after the appointed execution date. It is expected that now House lawmakers will push for Robertson to testify. I think what the House committee is doing, as they said yesterday in their hearing, it's bigger than Robert. Robert is just one of the key people that can speak to if this law is being effectively used. It's, it goes beyond Robert. And Robert knows that. I think when we met with him two weeks ago, not specific to this, but he talked about how he hopes his story is going to be an example to help others. That is why this subpoena was issued because he has a unique experience to tell and, and we need to hear that testimony. He ain't got no damn unique experience to tell. There's tons of brothers and sisters out there that's unjustly put into prison that spend life behind bars or unjustly executed nine times out of ten. And they got unique stories to tell. Why isn't they stories being able to be put out there to the forefront? Why do y'all make them spend life in prison? or um, get unjustly executed for crime they didn't even commit. That's because the system of racism, white supremacy that we got in place and the double standards, racialized standards that exist was inside the justice system works to protect whiteness at the expense of condemning blackness. And I don't respect that, nor do I respect it one bit. But let's continue. Testimony in committee on Monday. The ruling by the Texas Supreme Court does not vacate the conviction. There will likely be more legal debate in a lower court in the coming weeks. Now, a new warrant for his execution would have to be issued before the state can... There will be no new warrant for this white man's execution. The, the worst this white man going to face, this Robert Roberson, is life in prison. You know, he ain't going to get executed. I could guarantee that. I bet my last dollar on that. And in fact, 
in all actuality, they'd probably give them a get out of jail free card because the system of racism, we got to take it back to that again. The system of racism, white supremacy looks out and codder, coddles and pampers its own while condemning black people. And I don't rock with that one bit because that's the sole purpose I wanted to bring this story to the forefront to the family to show that the double standards that exist was inside the justice system, the racialized double standards that exist was inside the justice system because they say they had new evidence showing that this man Robert Roberson was, you know, not guilty of this crime or what have you, but they had evidence for years on our brother Marcellus Williams that showed he poss he could have never possibly committed that crime out there in Missouri of stabbing and killing that white news reporter. But they went on right ahead and uh, pushed the green light, gave the green light for his um, unjust execution, all because he was a black man. And this is why we got to bring these kinds of stories to the forefront to put light on them, to show these racialized double standards that exist with inside our society as a whole. Just my thoughts on the matter. But this was all done. He was given that pass, this Robert Roberson, because he had the complexion for the protection. He had a, you know, a free pass of whiteness. Peace.